Hi everybody, welcome to Ibex Running. I am Coach Rachel and today we have a walking hill climb. Don't worry if you miss any of my call outs, any of the changes. On this side we'll have all of those numbers, all of those stats. Over on this side we'll have a progression bar showing you where we are from start to finish during this whole entire workout. Don't worry, you're not going to want it to end. But if you guys are ready to get started, make sure you have a water bottle and a towel handy. Look down at your start button and hit it in three, two, one, we're gonna start at a 2.5 to a 3.5. Remember, this is a walking workout. So you don't really have to go crazy with the speed, the change ups. We are gonna speed it up a little bit during the middle of the workout. But right now, let's just get a nice warm body, start getting the blood flowing through the legs. So we're at a flat road right now. Good, we're only here for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna start picking up our incline. So again, the speed doesn't have to be a running speed or jogging speed. We're gonna stay at a nice walk, but I want you guys to take a walking pace that you're actually gonna maybe start sweating in. You're gonna pick it up. We want the heart rate to build just a little bit. Good, so we got about a minute and a half. Let's check in with our breath, check in with our form. Inhale through the nose, exhale, let it go. Roll the shoulders down and back, shake it out. What I want you to focus on as we're going on this hill climb. So we start at the bottom of the hill, we're going all the way up to the top. Every single minute we're gonna add on incline till we get to the very top and then we're just gonna slowly decrease that incline. So it's nice and easy. But what I want you to focus on is making sure we don't grab onto the handlebars, handlebars or whatever you wanna call these tread bars. We're not holding on, we're using our core strength, we're using our arm strength, we're using our glutes to hold us up, tight stomach the whole entire time. I know it's the hard part, but you got it. The hard part is mentally taking out that you need to hold on to something while we're going up that hill. You got it, 30 more seconds. We're gonna pick up this pace just a little bit. So you're either at a 2.5 to 3.5. We're gonna take it up to a 2.5, maybe a 4.0. We're gonna take the incline up to a two. 15 more seconds. Good, here we go, I'm pumped, ready? 10, nine, come on. Just that incline up to two, in three, two, one. Make sure you don't confuse your incline and your speed. I've done that so many times and you hit incline up to eight, but it's really your speed and you start sprinting on the treadmill. Like what happened? Go, we're here for a couple more minutes. Again, you can take up your speed just a little bit. 2.5, 4.0. Good. So walking is amazing exercise. So if you're new to working out, I highly suggest this be your starting point. Why? Because there's really no downside to walking. You're gonna get a low impact workout, which means it's softer on your joints, easier on the knees. You know, every, every one pound you're overweight puts four pounds of pressure onto your knees. So walking low impact is really great because you're not compacting onto that joint the whole entire time. It's a nice solid flow. So we got about another minute. Woo! Also makes you happier. People, there's this thing called a runner's high, but you get it after walking too. You're just like in the best mood ever. Nothing's gonna mess with your day. <sighs> Good, so we got another minute. We're gonna take the hill back down. So we gotta start from the beginning. We're gonna go down to a one on that incline. I want you to make sure also that we're not zigzagging the arms. Nice easy pump. When you're walking, you can have them a little bit more lax, but as you're jogging, you keep them a little bit tighter, L-shaped with the arms. And then with your fist, try not to clench your fist. 30 more seconds, I like to tell people, pretend like you're holding a bag of chips. You're not crushing your chips. You don't want to crush chips. I mean, some people like crushed chips. Depends, I put them in my salad sometimes, but soft chips. You don't want them crushed. Good. So the speed, again, if it was at a 2.5, you're picking it up to a 3.0. Good, but the, de we're gonna take a decline. So the incline's gonna go down to one. In three, in two, oh yeah, this song. In one, good. We can take it a little bit off on that incline. Again, if you were at a, at a 2.5, you pick it up for me. Nah, not for me, you pick it up for you. I'm gonna pick it up anyways. Good. We're only here for a minute. And then we get the party started. Woo! I wanna thank you guys for coming and meet me here on your treadmill. You're not gonna be disappointed. You're not gonna leave here 
not happy with what you just did today. Keep working. We got about 20 more seconds. We're gonna take that incline up to two. Just up to two. We were already there before. You already know what it feels like. 15 seconds. This song is everything right now. 10 seconds. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two. Pick it up. Give me a two on that incline. There we go. So you'll notice, maybe not in the first couple parts of this workout, but as the incline increases, we get to like the threes and the fours and the fives, you're gonna feel your body try to start going backwards. That's when you need to focus. You need to dig deep, try to squeeze those glutes a little tighter, squeeze that core a little tighter. Yeah, and stand up nice and tall. It's really easy to wanna lean back and do like that Sasquatch Bigfoot walk, but keep it in a little bit tighter. Squeeze those glutes. I always think about flexing my buttons as I'm walking, because I always want to get like a nice, nice butt. I mean, who doesn't want to have a nice butt? Good. Get ready, guys. We're gonna take it up. Ten more seconds. Up to a three. You got it. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Remember, we're hitting that incline. We're not hitting speed. See, our speed is staying right now in 3.0 to 4.0, but we're going up that hill. I just like walking in general. It's something you could do with anybody. You could do it with my mom. You could do it with my dad. My dad has really bad heart problems. So anytime I'm home, as I'm, I'm not from this area, they live in a different state. I always try to get them to go somewhere, walk with me, walk and talk. It's like the best thing ever. Get to know people. I do it with my kids too. I don't know about you guys, but like this whole pandemic, has got them a little lazy, they don't really want to do anything. So I always try to get them to go outside, go for a walk with me. It honestly helps. They're just like different kids after. If you have kids, you can make them go on the treadmill. I've done that too. They don't like it. 10 seconds, you're gonna take it up to four. I always tell them I'm the gym teacher. They don't like me as the gym teacher. Three, two, give me a four on that incline. You got it, breathe through it guys. This is the fun part. We're going towards the top. You can see it. You can see the top of the hill. What's up there? I don't know yet. Oh, we're almost there. We're halfway to the top. Yep. I kind of spilled the beans there. Halfway to the top means we're going to a level eight on that incline. You got it though. Keep walking through it. Anytime you feel like you need to slow it down, go ahead. Maybe take one, take one little second off, but then pick it right back up. You can push through it. Squeeze those glutes again. Good. 20 more seconds. We're going five. Five on the incline, 3.0, 4.0. Speed is still staying the same here. Here we go, 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, give me a five. Mm -hmm. Five. You feel it, right? That's where that moment comes in where you're like, oh, where's my torso going? Squeeze it tight, tight core. Good, squeeze this, these obliques right here, these side parts of your abs, and now squeeze those glutes. Every time you push your heel into the tread, squeeze and flex. Yeah, see? If you did it, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh. You know the best thing about walking is that it's free. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Even if you have like a long day, you know, the, you could walk at the grocery store. Just do start doing laps. Here's a fun fact I always tell. If I have any clients who are always trying to get uh, nutrition advice, just wait one second. We're gonna take it up to six and three. Two, one, give me that six. Give me that six. You got it. There we go. So fun fact, if you're at the grocery store, a lot of people have nutrition. Not tell you what to eat, not tell you what not to eat. But if you go usually to the perimeter of your grocery store, those are the foods you most likely want to eat. You have all the produce, usually have the meats, the eggs and the dairy stuff. The middle aisles is where they get tricky and they suck you in. The Oreo aisle definitely sucking you in. 
but usually that perimeter is where you want to be. Usually it's my first lap, that one. And then sometimes I sneak into the middle parts. Not for the Oreos though. 20 more seconds. You guys ready? We're almost to the top of that hill. Woo! We're going to seven and 10. <sighs> Feel taller, right? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go to seven. You got it, guys. The best part is after this, we're to the top of our hill and we're halfway through the workout. Woo, it was a short one, but definitely worth it. Keep working. You start feeling in your core, those upper abs, as you start walking, you start pushing the heel into the floor or into the tread, you can start feeling that core. They kind of twist and flex. That's when you know it's working. Good. Who's ready for the top of the hill? Ready for it? Mm-hmm. Here we go, last 15. Enjoy it, guys. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Take it to the top. Here's your moment, guys. This is the hardest this workout is ever gonna be right here. Good. Take it up though, 3.5 to 4.5. If you're at a three, give me a little bit extra. We came here to work, right? So I didn't want you to pick that running pace. I was gonna do something for you. 3.5, 4.0. Keep squeezing, keep working. So now that we're at the top, what do we see going down? We're leaving the old us at the top of this hill. The new us is waiting right at the bottom. Keep working it. Mm -hmm. so taking it back down, down to a seven. Seven on the incline. Keep the speed where it is for the rest of the workout till we get to that cool down. 3.5 to 4.0. You got it. This is the hardest moment, like I said, that it's gonna be throughout the whole entire workout. Four, three, two, give me seven, let's go. Give me seven. There we go. Woo! Feel a little bit of release, a little bit of relief also. Now you're in the flow of it. You know, walking also helps reduce high blood pressure. So if it's something that you've suffered with, you know, you have to obviously be consistent with your workouts. The key to any type of physical fitness isn't just going hard for one day to the point where you put yourself out. It's about staying consistent. So even if you do these 20 minute workouts, you know, you're like, it's only 20 minutes. No, trust me, they are going to work. You just gotta keep showing up for yourself. Get ready. We're gonna take it back down, down to a six. Keep the speed the same. It's five, four, three, two, one. Down to that six. Feels a little bit better, right? A little bit better. <sighs> Refocus, recenter. Notice, check in with a little body scan. Notice you're doing anything funky because you're starting to feel a little fatigued. Noticing you're swaying your shoulders a little crazy. Maybe you're not walking in straight lines. You're trying to zigzag your feet. We're walking straight forward. Good. Woo, make sure we're not bringing the head up too high. Also, make sure you're not focused on looking at the numbers on the tread. That's what I'm here for. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you longer than you need to be. Trust me, I won't torture you more than I need to. Keep breathing. We're gonna take it back down to five. We're almost on this hill, guys. 10 seconds, 3.5 to 4.0 on that speed. Five on that incline. In four, three, two, let's go. Good. Yep. We're almost, almost down the hill. I kind of don't want it to end. I'm gonna do like a secret hill in here. Like, like, tricked ya. Got an extra one. Just kidding. <sighs> Keep going, guys. 30 more seconds. We're going down to a four. 
who feels a little sweaty now? Feel a little sweaty? Feel a little worked up? Got that heat built up. Again, body scan every now and then. I do the same thing. Every now and then I notice when I start getting tired, I like find it hard to control my body. Like it has a mind of its own. You just gotta mentally just rescan, refocus yourself. Take it back down to a four. In three, two, give me one more second, let's go. Down to that four. See it getting a little easier. You guys are earned it. You earned it for sure. The top of that hill was steep. Whew. Trust me, well, what awaits for you at the bottom of the hill? It's worth it. It's you and it's a happy you. Keep going. The last few are the easiest ones. Remember I said you just gotta show up for yourself. Stay consistent. Eat right. Be happy. Set goals. These are the things that are gonna help motivate. I said it last time. Also a trick to keeping you consistent is write it down. Write it down on a piece of paper. Keep it for a week. Look at what you did. Chart it. Once you visualize it, once you see it, you wanna do more. You want to be there. It comes addicting after that. Taking it down to a three on that incline. In three, two, one. You hear the beat? There we go. Beat kind of makes you want to pick it up, right? Just hold it. <sighs> only a 20 minute workout today, guys. Sometimes you only need 20 minutes. Now you can't tell me that your mood is, is considerably better than when you started. Maybe you were in a good mood, but it could always be better. You could always be happier. If you're in a bad mood, there's just no way now. You got it. You guys ready to go down to that two? Two on that incline, keep it at 3.5 to 4.0 though. You got it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me a two on that incline. We're coming up to the home stretch right here. We got two more minutes, then we cool down. How was that hill? Easy piece of cake, right? You guys crushed it, I already knew that. Finish out strong. Enjoy these last few minutes. Maybe speed it up just point. If you weren't not at that 4.0, maybe the next few minutes you pick it up. You can do whatever you want, but always want to push yourself to your limits. Always want to make yourself a little bit better than when you started, right? Last 20. We're going down to a 1.0. Keep it the same, 3.5 to 4.0 though. 10, nine, oh, eight. I love house music. This is what makes me want to keep running. Three, two, let's go. Take it down to one or walk, whatever it is. It's like keeps my body hype. And then I just can't stop. It doesn't shut off. Mm -hmm. Last minute, let's go guys. Squeeze the glutes. Good, tight core. We're walking right up to that finish line. We got 30 seconds left. Smile, guys. You're almost there. Last 20. Come on, I know. I know. You got a little bit more in you. Here we go. We got. You can count with me if you want. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, don't hit stop. Give me a 2.5 to 3.5. Last minute here. We just cool it down. Remember, we never just want to jump off the tread. We always want to let your body cool down. We don't want to bring our heart rate to a dead stop. Always allow it a few minutes. Even if the cool down and other workouts don't suit you, stay on the tread for a couple more minutes. Let your body slow back down. Catch your breath. And then you can hop off. What's an extra few minutes gonna do? Only, only good. Whew. 
class 30. I want to thank you guys for meeting me here on your tread, giving me everything you got because I know that you did. Walking is amazing, like I said. So meet me here next time for our next workout. My name is Rachel. This is Ivex running. You got 10 more seconds. Then you can hit stop and come with me if you want. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can hit that stop button. I'll see you guys next time.